Okay. So I'm just making sure I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Um All right, so today we will be talking about Obamacare. Uh, presented by myself and Brock Turner, my partner, but I'll just be the one, you know, talking on this, but he did contribute behind the scenes. So introduction to Obamacare. So Barack Obama was the first black president of the United States and has offered multiple ways to help the people of this country financially. One of those ways was Obamacare. Obamacare is also known as the Affordable Care Act. Obamacare has a lot of benefits, but the negative feedbacks about Obamacare overshadowed the positive. Obamacare is important to everybody and affects the economy. And here's a quick video on Obama himself talking about Obamacare. So um, as you can see from the video, you know, Barack Obama was just trying to help people in the minority and people who couldn't afford health care because he felt as if, you know, everybody should be able to get health care, you know. So, you know, he definitely was doing the right thing. So Medicare. Medicare is the federal health insurance program for people who are 65 or older certain young people with disabilities, people with end stage, end stage renal disease. And so under the program, the federal government paid 100% of the cost of the expansion population for the first three years, and is slowly lowering the reimbursement rate to 90%. Medicare continued, Obama has meant low pre, Obama, Obamacare has meant low premiums, deductibles, and cost sharing for the 57 million senior citizens and disabled Americans in the program. Obamacare slowed the growth of payment rates to hospitals and other providers, reduced payments to Medicare Advantage plans, and improved benefits for enrollees. As a result, the Obama administration estimated that the typical Medicare beneficiary pays about 
$700 less in premiums and cost sharing. But, Ob but Obamacare does mean higher costs for more affluent ben beneficiaries. The Affordable Care Act also added a premium surcharge on drug coverage for higher income enrollees. Employer-sponsored insurance. Obamacare requires that companies with at least 50 employees provide affordable insurance on their staffers who work more than 30 hours a week. Also, the law allows children to remain on their parents' plans until they turn 26. This has proved to be one of the most popular Obamacare provisions and has helped lower the uninsured rate of this age group. Obamacare also requires that screenings such as colonoscopies and mammograms be provided free of charge. And lastly, Obamacare also prohibits employers from imposing annual or lifetime limits on benefits and caps out-of-pocket spending to $7,150 for single workers in 2017. Individual market. Obamacare has had the largest impact on the individual market, which was largely unregulated prior to the health reform law. It requires insurance to cover pe people with pre-existing conditions and ban them from charging the sick more. It prevents insurers from charging women more and restricts premium for older folks to no more than three times those of young adults. Not everyone, however, has been happy with these changes Obamacare has brought to the insurance market. Many middle-class Americans, particularly those who don't qualify for subsidies, say Obamacare premiums and, deductible, and deductibles are unaffordable. The uninsured. Obamacare required that all Americans obtain insurance or pay a penalty, which this year hit $695 per adult or 2.5% of household income, whichever is greater. The Trump administration is weakening the mandate. The IRS attributed the reversal to Trump's executive order that directed agencies to reduce the potential financial burden on Americans. Pros and cons of Obamacare. So, you know, what we're looking at here on the left is a pros and on the right is a cons. Um, as you see on the cons, most of it is, all of it really is uh, it like involving tax. So it says raise the ta income tax rate, the Affordable Care Act tax those who didn't purchase insurance, people who chose to pay the tax rather than pay for coverage, and pharmaceutical companies had to pay extra for closing uh, deductibles. Or no, not deductibles, but it cut off at the end right there. But pros uh, slows the rise of health costs, health care costs, cover 10 essential health benefits, coverage for pre-existing condition, and children can stay on their parents' health insurance plans. So reasons why Obamacare is failing. Unfortunately, Obamacare failed because it lacks free market principles and is a one-size-fits-all boondoggle and, and wasn't liked by most Americans. Uh, in the picture, you know, it's just uh, more reasons why Obama, fit, well, in the picture, uh, whoever made it gave Obama the overall grade of F because it was still 41 million uninsured. Uh, people didn't expect to keep their plan. Premiums were skyrocketing, prices were, costs were going up, and uh, less jobs were be coming, coming around. It was jobs were disappearing. So alternatives to Obamacare, health sharing plans. So one, one of the alter, alternatives was health sharing plans. So cooperatives with members agreeing to cover a certain portion of each other's medical costs. Then it was limited benefit in the mini, in the min, minity insurance. Medical plans with much lower and more restricted benefits than major medical insurance but with lower premiums. So with, with the uh, sharing plans, since, since many uh, health share plans don't cover well, wellness visits or, or even um, pre-active care, members pay for these entirely out of pocket. And then for limited benefits, that, that includes critical illness plans, end amenity uh, plans and hospital cash policies. And then lastly, we have short-term insurance. And that's typically available for periods from 30 days to 90 days. Short-term plans generally have lower premium prices than major medical plans. Conclusion. Obamacare has its flaws, but I feel as if it had an overall positive effect on the economy. Obamacare was very important to the expansion of health coverage to low-income families through the Medicaid program. Before Obamacare, most states did not give health coverage to adults without children, no matter how poor they were. 
Obamacare is important to the society, but more important to people in poverty, the disabled, children, elderly, and pregnant women. And these are just my sources. And I do, I wanna thank uh, y'all for listening to our presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and learned some information about Obamacare. And that's it. <laughs>